So now that the needle is cool, the water in the needle, the syringe is cool, we're going to try to, or we're going to withdraw spores. Okay, so first we need to sterilize the needle. It'll turn red. It's sterile. Once it's turned red, it's completely sterile. It's actually incinerated anything on that needle. A tad bit of water will cool it. You can't put a burning needle onto spool prints. I recommend it. Yeah, two sprays of alcohol around your hands. It's not critical because there is no possibility of contaminants entering into the syringe except through the needle tip. We're going to squirt a little bit in less than a milliliter, a very small amount of water onto the print. And you can see the spores almost powder-like. You want to get a lot of this material here. And then we're going to puddle this up. This this water here is filled with filled with spores. The water right there is just completely millions of spores from this water. So now that a lot of this is removed, or a lot of these spores are in that water. That's what we're gonna pull up. So everything begins here with this water. And Sterilized one more time. Now, I actually use alcohol and I'll actually rub the tip. It's going to be sterilized again before use. It's the only reason you would do that. Now see, look at closely, let's see where the camera is, you can see the spores are in mass, I want to shake it. And you can see the purplish colored spores. And this spore syringe is ready to be start a culture. This can be used to inoculate liquid cultures or directly to grain. You can dilute it many times or you can just start another liquid culture and withdraw directly from the culture to make mini syringes if necessary this was a very huge spore deposit this was done from two mushrooms making a print moving the cap making a print moving the cap i did this four times there's eight prints on this one page there's tons of spores millions and millions of spores on this piece of paper Although I'll throw them out because I don't really need this much material. And so there's your spore syringe. This is 
good to go. And I'll say, show you on the next video what to do with these spores, how to inject them into your grains or into a liquid culture. That's the next step.